everyone. This is Carolyn from Carolyn's Musings on Etsy. Um, I've just come on to show you how to put together um, this uh, recipe folio. It's in the shop. Um, I did this one different. This was my first make when I was making the uh, kit, the folio kit. So it'll be a little bit different than this, but I just wanted you to see what we'll be creating. I guess it'll be, uh, it could be a craft along. You can do it with me. Um, so let's get started. I've already cut everything out. I've already scored where it needs to be scored. Okay, so I'll try to remember to tell you that as well. I'm sorry if you can hear my printer in the background, but I'm working on a strawberry um, recipe kit now, so I'm printing the first go of it so I can see what needs to be tweaked. Um, so on this, um, you print this and you cut it out and you score. Let me get something besides my fingers. You score on the outside of each of these lines. Okay, and then um, this one. And you score here. We'll need that next. And then what I need to go over with you is there's a couple of choices. You can either have, this will be a photo mat and this will be your flap. So you could have this set or you could choose this set with the teacups. Or if you just want it plain, you can choose just this flap. And you know, you can decorate this however you'd like. Okay, so I chose the lemons. And you score this side of this line and this side of this line. Okay, so that's the first thing. So we'll set that aside. And I'm gonna go ahead and fold this. And you just place glue. Let me make sure I stay in frame. Place some glue on your flap. And then you line it up. And you place it on the inside. here like that okay and then I'm going to go ahead and refold this side so I have a good crease on this one okay and then so there's your little gusset right there okay and then the next is this panel and of course again you score and you fold like this and then as it says you place glue on this side and you line it up it kind of goes in the middle because you see I've got a little bit at the top and a little bit at the bottom I hope you can see that Okay, and it goes on the inside as well. Okay, so that's where we're at thus far. Okay, then there are lots of choices. Um, but we're going to start and we're going to do this first. Okay, and I'm going to put these on this panel here. Okay, and you score again here, and you fold, and this will be your top. And you score here, and you fold, and this is going on the bottom, here. Okay, so place your glue. Oh, I have a big bubble there. Place your glue. 
line it to the top. Try to stay on this side so that it doesn't hinder your fold there. And again, on this panel, or this flap, I'm sorry. And then again, line it up. Try to make sure it stays off of this fold. Make sure it stays off of this fold. So everything still folds nicely. Just fold it and make sure that you've kept everything where it needs to be. Okay, so there's those two. And then the next is this, we'll, do, we'll work on this panel, this side. And these will go here, like this. So again, I don't wanna get out of frame. Um, you score on the outside of the dark black, um, dark brown line. Score on that each one of them, here and here. And then you fold. Okay. And then, what I found to make it easier is if you go ahead and put your, let's see, didn't I have some? If you go ahead and put your button closures, um, I think I only did one um, off camera. So you could go ahead and put your button closures because it makes it so much easier. Sorry, I'm looking to see if I have some more punched out, but I might not. Let me see if I can punch some. Really quick. Hmm? I'm looking for the punch. Sorry. I probably have it laid out here and just don't know it. Okay, well that's wasting time. So, um, I'll just show you. So what I do is you take um, three, I did it with three circles, and you punch them out, or you cut them out, and you glue them together, and that gives you a really stiff button. And then I just kind of place it where I think I want it. And you can use an awl for this and punch your hole in the center. Or I have this little bitty, little bitty punch. And so you try, I don't measure, I'm terrible. So I just try to get it in the center as best as I can. You know what, I think this time, last time I just used one of them tiny, uh, well, let me just go ahead. I'll do it that way. Because what I use is these the last time. But I was going to try to use an eyelet this time, but I've already punched that little hole, so we'll just go with that. And you put it in. I try not to do it too tight, so it leaves some space. Mm-hmm, sorry. I have been working in my garden, and my nails are terrible. Absolutely terrible. So I try not to do it so there's enough room under there, if you can see. So there's enough room under there to put your string. But that's how you put your button closure on, okay? And it's best if you do that before you glue these down. Okay, so let's take the first one. And I'll show you what I did to cover that up. And you put your glue. And again, just be careful not to come over too far. And glue it down. And then do the same for this one. I 
might need a little more glue. I'm gonna make sure it stays. And the same on this one. Bring it back in frame. Try to stay off of your fold. And try to get it as straight as you can. And it closes like that. Okay, and then that's that part. And then of course you would tie a string because you would have your other button closure over on this panel. And um, you just tie your string. Let me see. I, string. I wish I had already cut out another button, but I can't even find the punch for it. So I think that's a half inch. I need my three quarter inch. Oh, there it is. Okay, we're back in business. Okay, I'm gonna back up. So I'm gonna punch out one, two. Of course, I've already glued it down. It's gonna be a little difficult, but it's okay. And I'll just use the same bird and punch that out. And then I just glue them together. One, and then this one. Try to get them as lined up as you can. back in kind of line him up punch another hole see if I can get that one any straighter and then get another piece of string then I just tie this under here if you can see tied underneath right over left left over right gives you a nice secure knot and then I just trip this off trim this off sorry and then you just wrap okay I just wrap a couple of times okay. and then you cut it off okay and so that's that side and that's how that side's done. Okay. And then we have options again. Okay, so over here, there's several options for you. These are called stackable pockets. And I tried to create them where um, when they're stacked, they will line up like that and like that and so this is one choice and here's another choice okay so it'd be like that and like that 
And last choice will be this one. We'll go about right in there. And then right in there. And so that's three choices. I'm not going to use that one. It's not trimmed enough. So I'm, my choice was this one. And I'm going to use... And these would go over on this panel. Okay. And then for these, again, we need button closures. But since I've already showed you that, I'll let you do this so that the video won't be so long. So you can do your button closures. But you should do them first um, because... Um, what we're going to do also on these panels, so after you get your button closures, to cover up your um, little Brad's uh, prongs, <laughs> I'm gonna, you can put your pockets. This pocket would go on this side. And this pocket would go on this side, like this at the bottom. And of course you stay off your fold, so it would go up here like this. Whoops, let me get in the frame. So it would go on here like this, your pocket would. And this is just an option. You can do it whichever way you'd like. And this pocket would go down here. And then um, for the inside, here, I have these pockets. Again, this is just an option for more recipes to be held in here. Okay. And then for this side, you can use, let's see, another stackable pocket. And so it'd be more room for more recipes. More recipes. Okay? So that is the basics for, there's lots of options on the inside. You can do those however you'd like. So now let me, uh, work on the front and show you. So all this closes up, okay, and this closes down. So for this side, I made, uh-oh, <laughs> I've lost it now. Mm -hmm, here he is. I made another pocket. Um, so you can just cut it out. And because I love the truck and the um, lemon so much that I didn't want to cover this up, so I decided to use this as a pocket. So you can glue this on three sides and use it as a pocket for more, um, for more recipes. Of course I do have, and then of course you know you have all different types of um, recipe cards. There is some that have, actually have lemon, whoops, that's double continued, um, that have uh, lemon recipes on them. Okay, and uh, let's see. So then what you do, you take this out, then you would close it up and you would have this. Okay, let me fold that up one more time so it's good so I can see exactly. So then you have your mat here, if this is the set you've chose. And so basically you're just going to I tried, so you didn't have to do too much, I tried to make it where if you just glue it to the bottom and to this side here, that it should match up pretty well. Okay? So, I hope I have helped you see to how to assemble this, and um, there's plenty of options, and you can just make it your own. Um, I hope this helped Candy Dandy, my friend. <laughs> I hope everyone has a blessed day. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.